Hey everybody, welcome back to Rascal and Rants Reviews. This is Big Mike. And I'm doing all, everything a little ordinary, or doing things a little out of the ordinary today. Um, usually it's my day in wrestling history uh, video that's first to start the day off. But you know, I got going, doing my uh, routine of the morning, you know. Getting up, getting that morning pee out of the way, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, making my toast, coming down. You know, catching up on a couple YouTube vids before I just go ahead and make mine. And uh, one uh, in particular vid caught my attention this morning. And it just happens to be Dash and Kevin Walsh. Now, it was the attention of Orton haters. And I thought, oh, here we go. You know, blah, blah, blah. He's, he's loving Orton again. You know, riding his nuts. You know, I'll watch it because I'm a subscriber. You know, so I'm going to watch. And it just starts out terrible. You know. Um, he tries, you know, uh, he tries to blame us for disrespecting Chavo. And I mean us, all of his subscribers, were all disrespecting Chavo. Or anyways, at least the ones that have disliked his videos. My bad. The ones that have disliked his video when he was talking about Chavo and leaving hate comments disrespected Chavo. Dude, first of all, Chavo's not going to see your video. So it's not going to disrespect him. I know maybe in an indirect indirect way you may feel it is disrespecting him. But it's all meant towards you. You know, the people that did that, okay, didn't think maybe it's going to indirectly affect Chavo. But, no. It's not going to bother him. It's not disrespecting Chavo. Um, people are just stating their opinions on you. And then going ahead and say, Oh, you guys disrespected Eddie. Trying to make us feel bad. Like in your fucking reverse psychology of a way. To make us feel bad ourselves. Like you're scolding us like we're fucking school children. You know. <laughs> it's like spinning on a fucking plate. That you are given by your grandma. Oh, you just disrespected grandma Mimi. Because you spit on her plate. Fuck off. Seriously. You gotta start your fucking arguments out with making us try and feel bad. Fucking suck a dick. Seriously. And then you go and tell us all to fuck off. All your subs. We can all fuck off because of this little feud that you got going with all these Christian marks. And all these fucking Orton haters. You know? And by the way, I don't mean that you're all fucking Christian marks. I'm just saying, you know. Because there's Orton marks out there right now too. That are following these videos. So you're going to tell us all to fuck off? Dude, we haven't all told you to fuck off. We all haven't told you you suck dick. You know, maybe we are now, because you fucking put it in our mouths. So you know what? We're going to spew them right back at you, you arrogant little fuck. Seriously. You're better than me? No. Better than that guy? No. Better than her? Better than him? No. You're better than no one. You know what? You know, seriously. And I don't know if all this shit's an act, you know, but when I first started watching your videos, I thought you were cool. You know, you made some good shit, you made some good points, you talked wrestling, and now that you're riding Randy Orton's nuts, I think the real you's coming out, you're being an arrogant prick, you think you know what you're talking about, you think you're better than everybody. Well, guess what there, Sally, you're not, alright? You're insignificant as much as everybody else out here, so your opinion means just as much. And if you're going to sit there and ride orders nuts just to fucking badmouth your subscribers, you're a hunk of shit. Seriously. And you're trying to be a pro wrestler. You're going to go, you're saying you're being trained and you're going to go get trained. Well, dude, that's going to be a fucking newsflash for you. You're going to get slapped right in the face with a dose of fucking reality because you're going to realize it ain't fucking real. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, uh,. You're going to learn what real wrestling is all about. You're going to learn how certain people are respected in the business without even winning championships or having accomplishments. You think that's how fucking people get measured in the business? You're fucking wrong, dude. You're wrong. There's people that you're going to be fucking wrestling with that are going to be better than some of the people on TV. You know, some of these independent stars that have never, ever, ever got a shot are a lot better workers than half these guys in the WWE. And you're going to realize that. 
you know, and you want to go and talk about, you know, just because Wikipedia doesn't, you know, lie about accomplishments. Dude, you can win fucking 50 titles. You're not a good wrestler. It's storyline. Championships are there to get you over, you know, to keep you over. You know, so I don't know what you're going on about. There you go with accomplishments again. And I said it before in my Orton versus Christian opinion matters video. Orton's held more titles than fucking HBK. Do you honestly think he can out wrestle HBK? You're fucking nuts. You know, he's held more titles than Bret Hart. You're nuts to believe that. You know, and it's not real. You're going on and on and you're saying. Orton's better than Christian because Christian had Mark Henry's help. Dude, it's written. It's a fucking storyline. It's TV. They let you believe what you need to believe. <laughs> you know, and if that's what you're going by and you're stuck in TV land and stuck by what the writers tell you, then okay, I guess you're right. But in reality, <laughs> Christian is a better worker. He, he's a god, you know... <laughs> And you want to talk about accomplishments? He really has accomplished a fucking lot more than Orton, too. You know, tag team titles. You know, uh, Intercontinental titles. NWA world titles. You know, so what? He hasn't been world heavyweight champion or WWE champion a million, million times because he hasn't sucked Vince's dick like you're sucking Randy's. So bottom line, dude, you just pissed me off this morning because I was. I am right now at the moment a subscriber of yours, you told us all to fuck off because of your hatred for Christian. You know? You're an arrogant fuck. You have. You can see it in the way you talk. You know, the way you spike your hair. You know, the way you sit there and fucking, you know, carry yourself. You're an arrogant fuck. Seriously. Um, do you think you know what you're talking about? You're gonna get fucking shot down hard. And that's that. He can fucking do whatever you know, and say whatever, but in reality, you're a fucking bigger mark than you just called us. You called us fucking marks in your video, too, so fuck you. You know? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if you're just trying to get heat, if you're trying to get views, if this is all a fucking fake feud with somebody, or you know, you think it's getting your fucking like I said, views or something. If so, go on and do it. But, you know, if this is what you really think, you're fucked. Anyways, bottom line, douching Kevin Walsh. Don't disrespect your fucking subscribers. You know, because of your fucking little storyline or because of your fucking hatred for someone or because you're riding someone's dick. Bottom line, fuck Randy Orton.